Hi, I'm Chad Schmutzer from Amazon Web Services. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure the Amazon EC2 Spot Fleet plugin for Jenkins, allowing you to scale your Jenkins executor fleet into the AWS cloud for a fraction of the cost. EC2 Spot Fleet is a building block that gives you the ability to create fleets that are composed of a combination of EC2 on-demand and spot instances with a single API call. In this video, I will show you how to launch an Amazon EC2 Spot Fleet install the EC2 Spot Fleet plugin from within Jenkins, configure it to use the newly created EC2 Spot Fleet, and then submit a sample job. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to follow this tutorial, you'll need to have AWS security credentials to allow the Jenkins plugin to manage your Amazon EC2 Spot Fleet. We will set that up first in the form of AWS Identity and Access Management user credentials. We'll begin by signing into the AWS Management Console with your username and password. I'm already signed in. Go to the IAM console by choosing IAM under Security, Identity, and Compliance. Next, choose Users in the Navigation pane. Click Add User. Create a username. We'll call it Jenkins Master. Check Programmatic Access for Access Type. Click Next Permissions. Select the box with Attach Existing Policies directly. In the Filter search box, type Amazon EC2 Spot Fleet Tagging Role. Check the box for the Amazon EC2 Spot Fleet Tagging Rule AWS Managed Policy. Clear the filter search box and type Amazon EC2 Read Only Access. Check the box for the Amazon EC2 Read Only Access AWS Managed Policy. Click Next Review. Review the details and click Create User. On the success screen, be sure to capture both the access key ID and the secret access key by either downloading the CSV or copying and pasting. Click Close. Next, go to the EC2 console by choosing EC2 under Compute. Head to Spot Request in the Navigation pane. Click on Request Spot Instances. Select Request and Maintain under Request Type. This requests a fleet of spot instances to maintain your target capacity. Under Amount, set the total target capacity to 1 and leave the optional on-demand portion set to 0. We'll make a few changes under Requirements. First, leave the AMI with the default Amazon Linux AMI. Let's add an additional instance type by clicking Select and then checking both C3 Large and C4 Large. This will allow the Spot Fleet to be flexible across both instance types when it is requesting spot capacity. Click Select to save your changes. For Network, select the VPC in which you'd like to deploy the Spot Fleet. Then check the availability zones with subnets to use for the Spot Fleet instances. It is recommended to diversify across as many subnets as possible when requesting capacity. Check Replace Unhealthy Instances for Health Check. Make sure to select or create a security group that enables SSH access from the Jenkins master server in the Security Group section. For Key Pair Name, you'll need to select or create a key pair to use for the Spot Fleet instances. The Jenkins master server will use SSH to launch the Jenkins agents. Be sure to have the private key available for configuration later. Finally, in the user data field, select as text and enter the following. This will allow the Jenkins agent to be installed on the spot instances. The rest of the options can be left as default. Click the launch button and note the resulting spot fleet request ID for use later in the configuration. Let's go ahead and install the Spot Fleet Jenkins plugin. From your Jenkins Web Management Console, click on Manage Jenkins. Under Manage Jenkins, click on Manage Plugins. Click the Available tab. In the filter box in the upper right-hand corner, type EC2 Fleet. This should filter out the EC2 Fleet plugin. Check the Install box and click Download Now and Install after restart. Click Restart Jenkins when installation is complete and no jobs are running. Jenkins will now reboot. This could take about 30 seconds. After the reboot is done, go ahead and log back in. You should now see an EC2 fleet status section on the left side. Let's now go configure the plugin. From your Jenkins web management console, click on Manage Jenkins. Click Configure System. Scroll to the bottom to find the Cloud section and select Amazon Spot Fleet in the Add a New Cloud dropdown. Add AWS credentials. Add your Jenkins IAM user credentials created in the earlier step. Click on Add and then Jenkins. In the Kind dropdown, select AWS credentials.
provide the access key ID and secret access key for the Jenkins Master IAM user. Click Add. Make sure the AWS credentials you just added are now selected in the AWS Credentials dropdown. Select the region in which you launched your Spotfleet request. For Spotfleet, select the Spotfleet request ID noted when you launched the Spotfleet request. Under Launcher, select Launch Slave Agents via SSH. We now need to add the Jenkins agent credentials. Click Add and select Jenkins. At Kind, select SSH username with private key in the dropdown. For username, enter EC2-user. Select Enter directly for private key. Paste the contents of the SSH private key you created in the earlier step. Click Add. Make sure the EC2 user credentials are selected in the Credentials dropdown. Change Host Key Verification Strategy to Non-Verifying Verification Strategy in the dropdown. Leave the rest of the options as default and click Test Connection. You should receive a success message. Go ahead and click Save. From your Jenkins Web Management Console, you should now see the EC2 Spotfleet status listed under the Build Executor status. Let's submit a sample job to the Spotfleet. Click on New Item. Enter an item name, Sample Spotfleet Job. Click on Freestyle Project. Click OK. Scroll down to Build and select Execute Shell in the Add Build Step dropdown. In Execute Shell in the command box, let's enter something simple. Click Save. On the project page for the job, click Build Now. Click the job under the build history. Click on Console Output. You will see that your job has run on the spot instance. In this video, I've shown you how to launch an Amazon EC2 spot fleet, install the EC2 spot fleet plugin from within Jenkins, configure it to use the newly created EC2 spot fleet, and then submit a sample job. To learn more about EC2 spot instances, visit aws.amazon.com/ec2/spot. Thanks for watching.